Bring some of our students are doing great things forward and uh, recognize them in front of the, the administration, in front of the teachers as well. What's important about this is you as a student here have been nominated by your teacher. They have looked at the hard work you've done and recognized what you do every day. So that being forward, I'm going to hand it off to Mr. Uh, Principal Cordova and we'll go ahead and move forward. Hi. Is it morning? Afternoon? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, one of the things that I like to always do is be part of the student of the month along with my assistant principal. Uh, we have amazing students. We, you guys do amazing things. For years, you guys were not being recognized until RT said, RT decided to do student of the month. Why? Because you guys do a lot of work and you guys need to be recognized. And some of the teachers appreciate what you guys do. And we don't tell them who to select, the teachers do it. They select the person that deserves it. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the smartest, the brightest, because there's a lot of you guys like that. It's different criteria that the teacher decides as to who deserves the turn of the month. Because you do need to be recognized for the hard work that you do. And to let you know that the teachers do care about you. <coughs> now. All of, you get, all of you guys sitting down, if you don't get selected, make it a vote to get selected the following month. Okay? Without uh, any delay. Go ahead. First of all, we have from the division department. Irene Flores, please come forward. and she's outstanding student in all sense. Always she's here. Her job is a great one. Her grade is uh, as long as uh, A. And uh, she is mom. However, always great job. It's my pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please help us out. I say, please. Uh, we're respecting you, so respect the people that are here. I mean, when they get nominated, yeah, they're popping and all that, but then after that, let's continue this so we can make it faster, okay? Thank you, all of you. Go ahead. Uh, do we have Miranda Coronado present? No, oh, well, she present. No. Okay. Okay, let's, let's, go ahead. let's make it fast, right? Anna Mendoza. <laughs> right. Hey. She's always organized, she's always prepared, she has not missed one single homework, one single bad work, one single assignment, and she's got extremely good grades in her class. And it's my true honor to give her to the You see we're giving them coffee mugs. The mugs are not for the students, but to go to the parents for all the support they give the students themselves. Next we have uh, Veronica Kano. We have Veronica. <laughs> Angela Trejo. <laughs> Pablo Vasquez. No, but I would like to say a few words. Absolutely. Oh, there you go, Ms. Padilla. Go for it. Pablo Vasquez is not here right now because he's in another meeting. He's uh, in the student expedition program, and he's a straight A student. He never talks when he's not called upon, but he always knows the answer if I call on him. He's the example of being a good student. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, Hang on. So if we're going to talk, and my student's not here. Um, my name is Ms. Romero, and I'm, I teach English 1 and English 1 honors. And my student is Angela Trejo. And um, I've taught every Trejo kid that they're probably as motivated. Okay? And, you know, I didn't ever think that one could get smarter than the other because they're just extremely intelligent. They're very, very bright. 
But what I, I, I really do admire about what Angela does is that she, can, she will share her knowledge with her fellow students. And she will guide them. And she's a straight A student, but she's got such a, a, a sense about her that she's not like, I'm very, very smart. She understands she's intelligent, but she always uses it for the good, never for the bad. And she is an exceptional student. She's always here. She, I, I'm, I won't be amazed if she goes on to a school like Harvard or maybe Princeton, because she's got that going for her. So that's why I nominated Angela Tree. I'm sorry, Jared TC. Oh, that's what she better be. Thought <laughs> she better so, be uh, here. Yeah. Cadet Briones is a brand new let level one student, meaning she's brand new to the program. But she's shown great drive, great determination, everything she's done, and uh, she's been a great leader in our program, you know, taking charge, especially in the venture team, and uh, in a lot of the events they've been doing. So I'd like to just uh, congratulate her. As Guadalupe Oropesa showed up. Oh. Lisa U. Dave. Um, Lisa has taken PE or weight training all four years. She always has a smile on her face, is always positive, and I. I wouldn't say maid, but talk her gently into being my badminton manager as well. And I don't know where I would be without her. She's just an awesome kid. I as well, I think I had every single one of her sisters. So just an awesome kid. Do you have the experience? Good to know this girl. Okay. Elva Gonzalez, are you here? No. David Galas. <laughs> Close enough, in the glass. The last. Is it the last? Yeah, that's him. I have David in chemistry, and uh, he is not necessarily the quietest person in the room. Uh, everybody can. But. Uh, is willing to help everybody, always willing to uh, answer a question, even if he doesn't know if he's right. And uh, I know if I'm not there, he's got my back in the classroom, so that's why I'm nominated. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer Hernandez. They ran across campus and changed my shoes. Because <laughs> I couldn't run on my, my flip flop. <laughs> Jennifer, I just met her. Um, I teach seniors and I'm teaching AP psychology for the first time. And we're all working together very hard. But she immediately stood out uh, along with several of your friends as well. But um, I did a little research and found out that since her uh, sophomore year in world history with Ms. Turner and then your US history uh, with Ms. Tomko and then you have Dr. Sikorsky now for Econ. Um, you're just doing phenomenal above and beyond work, and that's what we look for as a social studies student. Someone who just isn't willing to take what's in the book and do okay at tests, but dig deeper, ask questions, go um, have that curiosity, uh, which is such an important uh, characteristic to have in, in studying social psychology and economics as well. So I want to nominate Jennifer. Thank you so much. Edgar Javier Salas Calvan. Hey, I nominated uh, Edgar Javier, the way that you say it in French, uh, because uh, he's a wonderful student. He always wants to use uh, his expressions in French, and when he has to complete an assignment, he always wants to do even more. So he's asking for more questions, and uh, he always wants 
uh, to do the best. So, felicitations, congratulations. <laughs> Okay, um, first of all, thank you for being well behaved. I mean, again, I do take pride in how the students uh, behave in assembly, but you guys do. Especially the seniors, juniors, and seniors. I still have to work with the ninth graders because they need to understand what my expectations are. Yeah. Now, but the other thing is that uh, all of you guys have the same opportunity, just like I said before. What I, one thing I notice every time we do this, if a student comes to the front, the rest of the teachers, they know the student as well. Why? Because they used to be able to leadership within the school. Where not only in the classroom it will show, but it will show all the way around in the school. You guys can all do the same thing. I challenge you to be the next one up here. And I would like to thank the teachers for really taking the time and, and expressing those wonderful words for the kids because it showed that really you guys care about the students. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.